Hey fellow world dwellers, it's another Tuesday, so time to check out Atomic Shop Update. What do we have this time around? And it does look like the sale. So most likely because update is closer and closer, just two weeks away from a big update for Fallout 76. So they are doing sales if you miss on any items. 40% off on bundles, which is decent. Like 40% is a good discount. You have utility room bundle with selection of items that you can get 40% off. Down home comfort. This is a cool bundle. If you want to build a house in the forest or something like that. And then second down home, but the same name. Okay, the exactly same name. There are two different bundles though. This is a smaller bundle, 40% really good discount. Then there are some extra bundles with 30% off, which is not too bad, but I do prefer 40. <laughs> Obviously we prefer 40 and interesting to note, the first bundle is only available if you have followed first. So the discounts are being now locked behind followed first. It is kind of new. There always been like single items available on a discount with followed first, but now the whole front page bundles are, which I don't like personally. I would much prefer for those bundles to be available for everyone and not followed first exclusives, but that's what it is now. I guess monetization is important. And those last two bundles not only require followed first, but they do come with just 20% discount. That's not even a solid discount at all. Barely any discount and followed first required. What has happened here, Bethesda? <laughs> Why is followed first required to get 20% off? Then city living. That is still the neighborhood stuff and last week items available. More city living. So those are bundles without a discount those are just bundles full of prefabs that you can get for your camp and items from previous scoreboards those are not bad bundles but no discount here so if you purchase those yeah full price and yeah the prices are high this one is 2000 atoms wow that's a lot Greatest hits, we have Cappy's train bundle. This is a cool thing. I do have this train. It's as well a previous scoreboard, I think. Or maybe Atom Shop, I'm not 100% sure now. It's either scoreboard or Atom Shop. One train was definitely from scoreboard. Maybe other one was from Atom Shop. 50% off for some single items like power armor paints, alien invader, ranger power armor paint. The thing about alien invader, you can get a, get a free version from daily ops. You can keep doing daily ops to get very similar paint just for free, slightly different colors. And Mr. Who's the Tinker's Workbench, that's probably the one worth it. Worth the purchase. This is a hilarious one. If you don't have it yet, 50% off, just 250 atoms. Then as well, there is a skin for minigun and for swords. Uh, this skin fits on any sword. It says works with most one-handed melee weapons. So anything that looks like a sword can be modded with that. And uh, lastly, followed first, catch up bundle, that's still nine, and bundle one. Okay, those are the same overpriced bundles for followed first catch up. For free, you have Voltec frames, 250 caps today, uh, some 50% off for junk fences for everyone, which is good. And of course, followed first exclusive bundles like Field of Stars bundle. That's discounted bundle, but only if you already own followed first. And that being said, honestly, I don't need any of those. I have all the good stuff on my main already. And those I do not even need. What do you think about this Atomic Shop update? It is underwhelming in my opinion, but I as well understand that they are keeping the good stuff. When next update drops in two weeks as well, 
in less than a month the TV show Fallout is dropping, so I bet they are keeping a good stuff for this time. So I cannot wait for, for those things to happen. The Fallout is gonna be great this year, that we know. And that being said, thank you for watching and see you all in the next one.